Hi friends, you're welcome. So to model a space trust, you have to create a new project just like this. This is an error code uh, template. Alright, pick on the orthogonal axis generator and then pick any point on the drawing environment. So now we want to get the span of this uh, space trust. Okay, so we we have uh, in the direction one, which is the axis A directions, we can have that to be uh, 500 and then in the Direction two, we have it to be uh, ten thousand millimeters right there. So this is the real life setup for the uh, space trust. Okay, for the sake of this presentation, all right. Click on the OK option, so you have something of this kind. Okay, two points, just like this. Pick the ROC. <coughs> Sorry, still start shot right there, and then we can just use any of this. Okay, let's change the orientation. Like this, okay. And we have this, okay. The next thing we will do, we will have a space thrust, okay. Of the height is going to be one meter, and then the top width is going to be six hundred. So you have to offset a grid lines three hundred. That way, I can pick the grid line A again, offset it down, down what? Okay, 300 and it's have to be fitted with minus since it's going downward just like this. Okay, okay, so after which we insert story. Okay, so you get to insert story originally. We have story one or default, make it story two. Click on the okay options, yes, options, and then get back to story again. Right click, edit stories. So at this top of this trust from the story one is going to be one meter. So you choose one meter right there. Click on the OK options. Alright, so let's point. <coughs> we'll start the modeling. Now we get to the story one. Okay. Now by then we need to space the lines for the top width uh top width uh, uh member. Okay, so that top width member from grid line one you offset this way is going to be uh, we used uh, 1000 right here, okay. And then enter, just continue to enter, just like this, okay. All right, so having done this now, you get to start modeling it. Click on the frame right here, okay. <coughs> and then you will have to activate fix both sides movement, all right. And you get to the sections, we will be using a circular hollow sections just like this. So you choose the dia, okay. So we use this section, click on select, and then okay. So we start to pick from this point to this point, you can see, All right? <coughs> so you have to this mind you these are fixed together at each point okay so we are done with that one okay so we <coughs> now we get to the story two right here like this okay activate the frame again using the subsection so we have the frame in this direction okay So, all right. So over here, we also have it in this axis direction. So you have to make sure that uh, it is fixed. Just we have it here. So we have the top width. Just like this, okay. <coughs> right, so after which the diagonal brace, diagonal brace, just like this. 
So having got it all of this, just like this, let's get to the 3D so we can model some other parts, okay? To the 3D right there, we have something of this kind, alright? <coughs> now, what we need to do is, if I choose any of this property, right click and then click on it, property right there, sorry. It has been deleted, <coughs> this property, just like this, connect this. So we take this down, just like this, okay? So you right click and delete that, take it from this part again, down, as well from here, okay. So space truss is basically used when a large a large truss band is to be required. Okay, that is when space truss is to use to tackle the last band. So having done that, we will proceed to the next thing we need to do. Okay. So we get this from that point down, okay, just like this, okay. So it is very good you model it correctly, all right. But this is how it's supposed to be. Just like this, okay. Right, come over to this side. You still have to create a diagonal brace in this direction. This is not properly placed, you have to delete it. Fix it again, right there. Okay, just like this. Alright, so we are done modeling it, just like this. Okay, the next thing, how do we incline it? Okay, so let's place this. For you to incline it, you must now we get to the plan view of this story too all right so we have this okay so we'll be using plan definition click on the plan definition all right in these provisions you have to choose uh pick uh axis options so you select the line two right there this green line all right and then green line one and d okay get back to select green line two again to have this you can see we are not having this all right so i will really check this green lines very well you see we have point two and one right there and we also have point one this side okay so point two and one we are going to be elevate it by <coughs> we will elevate point two and one by uh le let me set two thousand five hundred okay two thousand five hundred just like this okay 2500 right there click on the update 
to have it just like this okay so we are taking this part upward 2500 okay so after you must have done that you click on the closed so close this dialog all right then highlight all of this okay for you not to highlight the uh for you not to highlight the distortion you have to use uh selection filter okay so you select all of this select only the frame okay so get all of this highlighted so it is only the frame that is highlighted just like this okay so having gotten this successfully so you just have to right click and then you click on the on this set plane definition right there of member so click on that then zoom closely to where you have the p1 and select that so click on the yes option right so this now has actually incline this other two ends we elevated to the height to 0.5 uh, millimeters so we check that 3d so you select this provision right click and then view it in 3d so you can now see this has been inclined successfully right so we need to actually extend these columns to touch this right so what you have to do is we select this column right here you see it's not selected so you have to make sure all of this is selected successfully all right so click on the close we're gonna select the column right click all right and then you use extend columns to member pick that point and pick this to extend this just like this you can see all right so this is how you can be able to model spectrum successfully in uh Protar structure okay but there's a way we also converted this to truss so that we can distribute it along any direction and use it effectively in terms of long span which you may be looking at that subsequently right but we stop here in this presentation and i want to invite you to join our advanced training uh program in protar structure steel and concrete all right so if you want to reach to us there's a link in the description of this video don't forget to like and subscribe Stay safe and bye for now.